So today we're here at Hardware Sugar and we're going to take a look at possibly one of the best na work from home upgrades that you can get. And this is yung budget na TKL from Habit. Uh, we review natin siya. We're going to be daily driving it and um titingnan natin kung ano yung benefits na makukuha mo sa pag-switch to mechanical keyboards. And alam mo yung isa pa na makakuha ka ng maraming benefits, yung ating sponsor, cdkeyoffers.com. Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit windows? Daming options, daming prices. Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com. Madali lang ang order. Search for the software you need. Add to cart. Daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes. Finish! May legit working CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin ang aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com okay, So for transparency lang, this was sent to us for free by Habit specifically for review. Pero syempre, um, being harder sugar and being yung trustworthy na YouTube content creators na nakilala nyo, we're going to be really honest and we're not obliged to say only the good things about this. Although there's a lot of good things about this. Also, yung maging review format natin would be kakailangan lang natin ng time machine and we have to go back one and a half months sa past. <laughs> and titingnan natin yung parang first reactions ko, first like impressions sa first time na pag uh, bukas ko dito sa uh, keyboard na ito. So here we go. First thing na I noticed right out of the box was yung kanyang weight. Um, it feels surprisingly heavy. It feels, you know, it feels solid. Another thing is yung kanyang deck flex. Okay, virtually wala siyang deck flex. Um, that means na solid yung build quality niya. Um, considering na plastic yung kanyang uh, outer housing, no? So, let's go with the typing. Okay, first impressions, it's very smooth. Surprisingly, hindi nakakainis yung tunog niya. Okay, so right out of the box, it's very smooth. The keycaps are smooth also. Sabi nila PBT daw ito. And like, they feel okay naman. Wait lang. Hmm. Well, wala <laughs> Di naman talaga tayo dapat mag-expect na lube to out of the box. Since this is a budget mechanical keyboard talaga. The alphas are really smooth. They sound nice. Yung long keys, the ones that require stabs, medyo, tinan nyo ah. Medyo maingay siya and rattly. Well, <laughs> yung sa akin din, medyo rattly. But not as loud as... Like, I'm barely hitting it. Pero as in, sobrang loud niya. But yun nga, between this and my office keyboard, like, wala. Yun, first impressions overall, it's very, like, it's surprising. It's surprisingly solid, um, surprisingly smooth. I, I can't get over with this sa smoothness ng kanyang keys. And keycaps are okay. Oh, and before we go, pwede nating tignan yung uh, switches niya. Eh. So, Okay, so it's red. I don't know kung anong brand to. I haven't looked at the specs. Pero, yung spec kasi ng Cherry MX is that it's linear. And this is linear. Walang, walang tactile bump whatsoever. 45 grams yung actuation force. But, itong specific na red na to, hindi ko alam kung ano. Um, I'm 100% sure na hindi siya 45 grams. Kasi, this is much heavier than this. Ito, Gateron Browns, which is which supposedly is 55 grams actuation force. Ito mas mabigat. So, I'm thinking like they um, preserved yung linearity no, <laughs> no reds. Pero hindi nila kinopya yung um, actuation force which is dapat 45. So, yon I've pre-recorded this na and we're going to go back in one and a half months where I'm going to be using it. So, yung review ko sa kanya would be um, I'll be using this alongside my GMMK. Tatapos, ilalabas ko din yung aking um, 
office keyboard yung KB120 which is a membrane like basic super basic na keyboard just to uh, compare yung performance nila and like the experience let's fast forward using our editor Ren's video magic into one and a half months in the future let's go Okay, so one and a half months later, <laughs> ito na tayo, and dinaily drive ko na siya for one and a half months nga. Okay, so specs mo na. Ang tawag dito would be the Havid KB487L. It's a mechanical 89 key keyboard. It's got Jinxiang red switches, PBT keycaps, and the basic layers for multimedia keys. It also has a braided cable but not detachable. No RGB and the PCB is not hot swappable. What's special about this though is the presence of the numpad while still retaining the TKL form. Uh, mamaya makikita natin like yung bakit yun yung um, very noteworthy niya na feature. Okay, again, I daily drove the Habit keyboard alongside my GNRK1 and a memory keyboard para makompare ko sila. I wrote code with it, wrote scripts, and I did, of course, I gained a lot. So, ito na yung review. So, let's start with the pros and Maraming maraming pros actually. Start tayo sa build quality. Although plastic, the case and the board itself is super solid and it even has some weight to it. Word flex is basically non-existent and it doesn't feel cheap and flimsy. I'd be confident lugging this around on my backpack even without the box. Actually, yun yung ginawa ko para makapunta ako dito. Naka, nasa bag lang talaga siya. Ayun. Ayun, super solid and confident ako na hindi siya masisira. The board is a bit on the thick side, so even without propping up the legs, it's got quite a high typing angle, which I generally found comfortable and passable. Okay, na siya. Okay, the keycaps are PVT, so they feel really nice and premium to the touch. Niko actually in expect you know. They don't have that powdery, unpleasant texture that some budget key keycaps have, and I do love the off-white and muted orange combination with the black case. So it's very, you know, it's striking and eye-catching without being overbearing in OA. These do have the cherry style switches, so replacing and customizing this, kung ba, may baka pang gusto na colorway, dun sa preferred na keycaps mo, madali lang kasi super popular ng cherry style uh, switches. So for the most important spec, the typing feel. The switches are surprisingly really smooth for a budget keyboard and hindi ko actually inasahan yun. That's enough to warrant a recommendation from me, especially kung galing ka nga sa mga membrane keyboard. They're satisfying to type with and while not completely silent, they do sound pleasant enough that your co-workers or in many cases your housemates wouldn't mind type type pang ganun. So, They're called reds, but they don't feel like what one would expect from a cherry red copy. They're linear and smooth and accurate, parang reds talaga, but they require significantly more force to actuate, even more so than my Gateron Browns. Cherry reds usually have around 45 grams of actuation force, while these I'd estimate have around 60. Now, if you don't have any experience with reds or MKBs in general, this wouldn't bother you. It's still smooth and buttery and miles better than any membrane keyboard. Okay, so doon na tayo sa TKL kanina. Again, the most noteworthy feature this thing has is the inclusion of a numpad. TKL stands for 10 keyless, 10 being the number pad. So no numpad and that's usually what dissuades people from trying out MPPs. And Habit seems to have found a clever way of addressing this by replacing part of the navigation keys, the insert, home, delete, etc. with the numpad. That comes really handy especially for office professionals who work with figures, spreadsheets, or if you're really just used to having the numpad. Now for the bad, and I say bad but I do understand that this is a budget keyboard and this is coming from an NKV enthusiast. And syempre, kailangan maging honest talaga tayo. And ayun nga, hindi naman siya like bad na parang deal breaker. So here we go. Okay, number one. This would have been amazing with a detachable key cable. I'm no expert in manufacturing economics or business, but would it have hiked the prices too high by including that? An extra 400 pesos maybe on top of the current price at most. This may seem kaartehan and while the included cable is braided and solid, if for some reason this breaks, you're going to need soldering skills to repair it or have it looked at by someone who does. 
instead of just getting another USB cable. So, ano ba yun? Mat- maliit na bagay lang. Ayan. Siguro mas maging maingat ka na lang dun sa paggamit sa kanya. And at the same time, it's also solid naman eh. So, okay lang siya. My number two, the num lock and caps lock indicators are almost invisible. Instead of a normal dot, this keyboard lights up the caps lock key and the whole numpad while in their respective states. While visible with the num lock, it's really difficult to see at a glance whether you're on caps lock or not due to the very faint LED plus the solid keycap. An RGB keycap would have been better para makita lalo na naka-on nga yung caps lock. Kasi ngayon, ano siya eh? Um, as in, solid siya, hindi siya see-through. Okay, so number three is personal, so you can actually disregard this. I often use the navigation keys that the numpad replaces here. And this is work ko. I code for Harder Sugar and sometimes I write copy for posts and YouTube video scripts. And I miss those keys a lot when using the habit key. Although not gone completely, I still found fudging around the shift key plus yung corresponding na insert or whatever. Um, medyo cumbersome pa rin siya. So for people na kailangan talaga yung navigation keys dito sa taas dito, meron lang siyang learning curve. So uh, just be aware of that. Okay, number four. While this wouldn't apply to those with no mechanical keyboard experience, in essence, yung market na meant para dito sa keyboard na to, the switches are fairly inconsistent. Some keys are harder to press than the others, while some are so light, for example, the left shift key, that I wasn't sure if they're engaged or not, especially in gaming. The long keys like the spacebar, the shifts, also rattle and are a lot noisier than the alpha key. Again, this is me, an elitist na mechanical keyboard snob, and with everything that I said, it's still such a better experience than membrane keyboards or like yung mga basic na keyboards lang. So, ayun, ang dami kong sinabi na bad and parang dun sa experience ko. Pero, it's still, I still recommend it, especially dun sa mga, um, mga first-timers. Yung first na foreign nyo sa mechanical keyboards or basta gusto nyo na lang na uh, mas magandang experience of type. Okay, so in conclusion, the Habit keyboard is a lot of keyboard for its asking price and its intended buyers. If you've been watching our videos, bukong bibig ko puro mechanical keyboards kahit sina Sir Anton and Sir Rocky na ano ko. Uh, Bindi na demonyo ko. Moving from a membrane keyboard to an MPB was such a game changer for me and my fingers and I haven't looked back since. And now I do understand that most people aren't as enthusiastic and picky as me when it comes to peripherals, some of us just want to have something that would make our daily 8 to 5 grind a little bit bearable. And of course, you won't be able to justify spending 5,000 just for a keyboard. And I think Habit just <laughs> has it all. <laughs> Mura siya, meron siyang compromise for yung mga professionals na hindi naman sanay dun sa ETL. So yun, it's cheap at 2,150. It's smooth, it's solid, it's got all the features you need if you're just starting out on MKBs and the addition of the numpad eliminates the need to relearn and adjust your typing habits. This keyboard, quite frankly, is a great working man's gateway keyboard into the world of mechanical keyboards. We highly recommend this for folks looking to significantly upgrade their current setup, especially for those working at home at day and gaming later at night. So if you like the video, hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out your aming website, hwsugar.ph for your PC needs. And also yung aming uh, physical store dito sa Giho Street, Makati. And also check out nyo rin yung aming Facebook, yung IG namin, meron din. And also for your tech questions, go to pm.hwsugar.ph. Thank you and see you next video. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tungo puan nato. De jok lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, Richard Ongkinko, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.